Hi everyone, so I'm back today to show you how I done the cover of this journal. Um, obviously it's not going to be the same, I'm doing this in a brown. I have actually prepped the actual cover um, and I've painted this, but a lot of you had said, um, how did I do this? Okay, I didn't pay for any courses or anything like that. have actually received some journals um, that were gifted to me, or swaps, and they had the same kind of thing and you know it's not really hard to to work some of this out um i did do a hidden um spine in this there's tons of videos out there how to do that it took me ages to figure this one out last night even though i've done it before right so i'm gonna go ahead i'm doing a completely different size journal um oopsie okay just putting that back safe because it has now been sold <laughs> okay so i use like a brown um can't remember the name of the colour. Let me see. Um, it was this and this mixed together. So it was burnt umber and sand because I didn't want it that dark. So I added a little bit of sand to it as well. And it came out this colour, which is perfect. Okay. Same material as I used the other day. And I'm just going to see if I've got a little bit of that left, which I have. Um, that's it there. And it's got a little tiny waffle on it. It is pretty it's not really really thin but the thinner the material the better because you you don't want to use something that's really really thick because you're going to find it hard to mold it into your ridges on your spine okay um and obviously you can paint this uh, your fabric whatever color you want if you've got book cloth then you know use that or like a really just a really thin cotton, I would suggest. Okay, and if you don't, if you, you know, if you've got coloured material that's thin and you want to use that, then just use that. You don't have to go to the lengths of painting it. Okay, so I'll just talk about this quickly. This is the cover. These are loads of boxes that I've got left over. My son brought them from work. It has got a little gap there, but I'm going to be covering that anyway. I have covered the outside of the box. I've kept it as one like that as you can see but i have left a little ridge there i haven't taken it right in that's just so that it gives a little bit of that ridgy look um i've put my these ridges on i didn't know what they were called the other day and somebody said to me they're called ridges Yvonne. okay that one's slightly off kilter and it's too late now um or maybe it's just me no it's okay um there's three pieces glued onto each other of that. This is Amazon packaging. Excuse my hands, you can tell I've been painting. Um, three layers of this, just measure it to um, the size that you want. The I've added two layers onto the cover as well, just to bulk it out a little bit. Okay, hope that makes sense. I'm using this, you can use Mod Podge, you could use PVA glue. So I'm using this get that from amazon um i've just bought myself another one i've got my little uh as a yogurt pot or something i keep the keep them sometimes just to add bits of glue into okay so when you paint this if you're painting it just make sure that you paint over the size of your whole cover because you're going to fold it into this side when you're done okay but if you're not painting, you don't have to worry about that. So let's just set that to one side. Right, so to start with, you're going to put on plenty of this stuff. And you want to get it in everywhere. You need, and you know, don't be scanty with it. You need to make sure there is plenty of glue. Now, you're, I'm just going to do the middle first so that I can get that right. And I want to get it right in there and there. You'll need a bond folder or ruler or something like that as well. And, it, you know, it you do have to work on this. You have to work at it. It's not just like plonk, plonk it down and that's it. Um, okay, I want to make sure there's loads in there. Okay, and we set that there. My whole craft room is a disaster zone. <laughs> really bad. Right, 
because um, I'm doing that, I'm just going to flip that round and just kind of make sure that I've got it like that and then pull it over just because I want to make sure it's all covered. Okay, and you can feel where that middle, your spine is, okay, and you're going to work it and you may have to add a little bit more glue. I hope I've added enough. Because if you if the the materials not the materials the card that you're using if it's a porous card it is gonna suck up the glue. Okay, hope you can see what I'm doing here. Um, start at the top or the bottom, it's up to you, and just push that down. Make sure you get it in that ridge. The glue is going to seep through, but it will dry clear. Um, and you do have to do this for a while. You know, it's not just like once and then that's done. It really isn't. It does take a while. But it is worth it. It's worth it. If you don't have a bone folder, like I said, you could use a ruler just to just to push it down, or you could use an old card, an old credit card type thing. You can do that and just push it down. I'm using my bone folder. And like I said, you do have to keep going backwards and forwards with it. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> um, I keep my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And you know, when you're pushing down, push with a little bit of force. Because you need that to stick in there and it, to me I don't think I've got enough glue there which is annoying <laughs> typical when you're on a video okay I know you can see that glue coming through but that happened when I was doing the black one as well and you didn't see that when it was you know when it was dry let me just put a little bit more maybe I needed to put a little bit more on there. Whoops. Whoops a diddly. Okay, plenty of glue, folks. Plenty of glue. Um trying different things to see if it kind of pushes that in a little bit better which it does actually with this maybe that is what I used yesterday I can't remember because I've slept since then <laughs> okay and make sure you push down on these ridges as well I'm going to go over my ridges with my gold metallic paint as well so Let's do a little bit of this. You know, move between your tools if you have to. Um, you just need it all stuck down. See, that's starting to form pretty well. Sorry I'm at an angle now, but I have to see what I'm doing because I can't put my head right over because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see. Now I want to, I want to do one of these, um, but I want to, 
I want to have this part of uh, paper. Some William Morris. Might do that tomorrow. See how I go today with this. Um, I want to do that William Morris. Artie Maisie's tear. Uh, the tear pages that she's done. I need a little bit more glue. You may have to come in and out with your glue. But it just depends on what glue you use. I really do like this matte medium. Um, and that's what I used yesterday. I didn't use anything else. Okay, go down there and like, see, you can see the glue oozing out, but please don't let that, you know, put you off. It does dry. <coughs> Excuse me, I still got my cough. <coughs> We've all had this stinking cold. Um, the corner is super cold, it's not COVID. So, we've almost done this part. Now, I would say give it maybe half an hour to dry before you start going on, but I need to get this done. Make sure you go into that groove as well and push that down. And when you're in that groove, push kind of into there as well like back onto yourself so that it sticks onto there um, I think once the glue starts to get you know when it's not as wet but you've got sufficient amount on there it's easier to push this down I did actually go in with mine with a, um, a nail file afterwards once it had completely dry um, just to kind of take away some of the paint here and there. Let's see, All right. All right, I think that's pretty much done. On the spine anyway I just feel I need a little bit more glue up here I should have maybe put some gesso on that before I done it just to make the glue stick a little bit better or sand it down one or the other Like I said, you do have to work at this. It's not just a, you know, a quick in and out and it's done. It does, <clears throat> does take some of your time. Okay, so now I'm probably going to need some more of this. I am. Okay. So, I want to get straight in there and put plenty on. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Oops, just dropping everything now. Go back in there. baby wipe to clean that right the other side and just pull it back make sure we get plenty in that ridge I 
I mean, if you're using book board or, uh, you know, the mount board or whatever it's called, then that should, shouldn't should suck up so much of your glue. But it's good to upcycle. Go back in there because we want that. And like I said, make sure the them edges are pushed in when you're doing that. You can see the paint's coming off of there. And then we'll use this because this seems to be better pushing this down. because it's flat you've pushed that down you've pushed that down just there we go then we'll flip that over and we'll wipe that off then we'll give that a little wipe as well okay now you're going to get your scissors you're going to leave a good border around the edges and just cut. And the same this side. I think that's just about shy of an inch. And I was a bit off with that, but we will work that out. I couldn't get my head right over just try when you're doing it try and central centralize everything okay we'll just chuck that in the bin now obviously that's still drying there and we need to mitre this so I some people just like fold it in like that and cut it but I've done that before and I've messed it up, so I just do it my way. So I just do there and there. And the same there. And there. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that's down there and there. I would recommend leaving that to dry for, again, another half an hour. So we're doing that. And like I said, this part here it was just a little, um, so you could see what was in the box. But because I'm cover, I've covered the outside, I'm going to be covering the inside with cardstock. You're not going to see that little piece. Uh, I'm not going to not use it because of that. Okay, so then you want glue all along there, and you want it in there along that edge because you want you don't want that being um, like loose. That's the right word. A little bit in there. I can see that needs a little bit more. Okay, so we'll fold that in, and as we fold it in, push up on there, and it is a messy job, this, <laughs> or it is when I do it. Um, you know, there are paid tutorials that probably explain this so much better. Um, Okay. Plenty of glue, that's the aim of the game. Because you need this to stick. And this um, matte medium, matte, matte gel is really good. Right, so we want that pushed up.
throwing everything around now. I just had a bit of a scare there thinking, did I turn the camera back on? Because I've had to stop it because of the coughing. <laughs> I'm okay if I don't speak. Okay, and then with that, we pull that right over, push it down. And make sure that that, because we want that to stick. Now this definitely needs to dry after this. Definitely. You can do it when you've got the three separate pieces as well, but I didn't do that with yesterday's one and it worked out okay, but you can if you wish. And obviously this is going to be a hidden, hidden spine. I'll just hold that down a little bit. mucky fingers doing this mm. okay right so we'll let that dry and I will come back so that's pretty much dried I'm just gonna come in with my little nail file because the big sand block that I had it's not really that good anymore so I'm just gonna go over that because I don't want it perfect and you know where it's got I showed you on the fabric that has them um, that little bit of texture that pops out as well pops out a little bit um I'm not ready to sew in a signature or anything yet the signatures um and it's I'm doing this a hidden spine as well so what I will do is I'll come back in a part two to show you that because I know obviously some of you might even, you know you might know how to do that already um because I'll probably have to sit and think about that again like I did with the one yesterday I can't believe it took me that long to figure that out I started that on Saturday and, and finished it when I get the um the ridges because I don't want this to look like brand new I want it to look like it's been about for a bit There we go. Go around the edges a little bit. Right, what I'm going to do now is get a dry bit of kitchen paper. Just take off anything that's on there. And where's my gold? I've got some gold. Uh, it's metallic titanium gold acrylic paint. I'll need a tiny dab of that. Tiny dab like that and I'm just gonna hold my finger and dab it off and I'm just gonna go over the ridges I can't believe I, I couldn't think what they were called last night I'm gonna go round the edges and over the ridges Just adds a little. If you've got um, Inca Gold or something like that, I've got Inca Gold, but it's all dried up and I can't. I've tried everything to try and revive it and I've barely used it. Um, yeah, that's annoying that, um, that it's all dried up and I've barely used it. And I, don't, I can't remember the other thing. Um, I know there's loads of different gold um things like this like uh inca gold and things like that um i know there's some you can get in a tube <laughs> i don't know what it's called but uh but this works just fine because it's metallic
and I've just kind of gone, I, may, I mean, I may go over certain bits of that. Need some more. So yeah, I'll come back in a part two and show you how I saw in the signatures. It was a bit too much there, Yvonne. Have a word with yourself. Um, yeah, how I, I've got three signatures. I'm still drying the papers at the moment. Um, all digital, all just been printed and I've coffee dyed the backs of them and they're on my heater drying now you can go over you know the little raised pieces on here or just just like that You don't have to do this part, but of course I am. So I just want it to look oldy, a bit like myself. <laughs> Make it look a little bit oldy. I don't know. I don't actually think I've got any um, book plates left, which I used on the one yesterday. Where I've done. I'm doing doing too much of this now. Jesus. Okay, just want a little bit up here. So I don't know what I'll do. I might actually just put um, like a a word, like make my own little book plate there, or see if I've got a digital type one. So that's that part, and I'm quite happy with that. Um, might have to sand that down a little bit. See, if you don't like anything with these paints and that, the good thing is, sand over it, and it kind of kind of goes away a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. So hopefully this has been clear enough for you. Is it? This is the easy part. It's the actual sewing in the signature bit. I might try and do it with a hidden spine, but hollow back. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.